So I'm Farmer Brad here and I'm with AJ Farms and they have a homesteading YouTube channel called Homestead Evolution. Here's John and Anita. Hi. And uh, you guys raise quail. What started you homesteading and raising quail? Homesteading was for our uh, health. My health was pretty poor. So we started raising vegetables and raising meat rabbits for ourselves. And that led us into quail because we was looking for another protein source. So for eggs and meat on a smaller footprint. And it just took off. People started showing up on the door wanting to buy quail. So we expanded and now we ship hatching eggs all over the U.S. Uh, have restaurant sales and we sell to all different venues, to falconers, to reptile, to um, pet stores for the eggs and so forth. So yeah, it's, it's a growing market, definitely. So I raise chickens and I'm familiar with the chicken egg. How does the quail egg differ from the chicken egg? Definitely smaller, of course. It's, it's a smaller animal. Um, but nutritional value wise, it, it'll beat a chicken egg every day of the week. Uh, I've always encouraged everybody to go to the uh, USDA.gov website. Do your own research. Don't take my word for it, you know. Um, or they can Google it and do the research. The nutrition is just amazing. Right. And you were telling me earlier that some people that may have sensitivities to chicken eggs might be able to uh, eat quail eggs. Yes. yes. Yeah. My yes. wife can't eat chicken eggs. She can't even have the flu shot because it's cultured in eggs, but she can eat a quail yeah, egg. I can eat quail eggs. There's an ovomucoid protein in the quail egg that evidently is not in the chicken egg that blocks that allergic reaction. I've actually given eggs to several people that have uh, chicken egg allergies and they they've come back because they can tolerate um, it is possible that you're allergic to both but it, it's rare they were kind enough to host me uh, while I was at the Homesteaders of America conference and they had a booth set up uh, just sort of showing people how easy it can be to start with quail and they have an observation cage where you can uh, how many quail can you put in that Twelve. Cage? Total 12. Total 12, 12, okay. six, six per level. And it was just to show the temperament of the quail, what a female looks like, what a male looks like, um, the size, how big they get, how docile they are. Uh -huh. um, and basically you can you can set this on a balcony, you can set it on a, in your porch, in a corner of a room, yeah. um, comfortably and, and clean it well and get meat and eggs. So you, you can grow a lot of food in a small square foot. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Uh, so, how can people get a hold of you uh, with your website or YouTube channel? Yes, um, our website is ajfarmsllc.com. Uh, we have a Facebook page. We have Instagram. Wow. Yeah. We, you know, just hit us we up. We also have a homesteading group called oh, yeah. Homestead Evolution on Facebook. Facebook. And we're trying to get like-minded people in there and tell us your experiences and, you know, join the group. Well, I'd like to say thanks once again yes, for sir. letting me uh, yeah, learn about it. quail and uh, crash at your place uh, during the Homesteaders of America conference. And uh, I had a great time meeting everyone at the Homesteaders of America conference. I feel like 70% of the people I subscribe to in the homesteading community were at Homesteaders of America conference. Uh, so if you can uh, squeeze it in your schedule next year, make sure to check it out. It is a great opportunity. Yes. There's a wide variety of topics covered there. Uh, if you're just starting out and want to sort of explore uh, where people have been going down these uh, different homesteading routes. And uh, it was great. So I definitely encourage you to check it out. Yeah.